So he jumps from the driver's seat yeah. to the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. Then I remember he locked the doors so I couldn't actually get out. And I actually Wait, fainted. What do you mean get out of your neck? Like he literally choked me, started choking me. Then while he's choking me, he's being very vulgar. You think that just because you have a pretty body, you can go everywhere you want, dress however you want. And mind you, I wasn't exactly dressed. Taxi problems. <sighs> My dear. How long are we still waiting? Where are those people? Just a couple more minutes, please. We've been waiting for 10 minutes, surely. 10 minutes! I know, I know, I know, and I'm sorry. Like, I can't hear you. What are you saying? A couple more minutes, please. I know this is very hard for you, especially since it's your job and everything, and I'm actually feeling very bad for you. Yeah, you know this neighborhood, I don't like it. It's not safe. This place, Walia Inda Nasaid Mirayangu. I'm really sorry. Just, How many are they? Just the two of them and me. We're three. So you are three. You know yeah. I can't carry more than three people. I know you can't and I wouldn't make you do that. Especially after keeping you for so long. I'm really sorry. Okay? Don't get a key to. Of course, I have to. It's only fair. Oh, yeah. You know, by the way, how, how long have you been doing this business? Like... Uh, six months. I've had some very rough experiences with the drivers, you know. Hmm? Yeah. I have, and actually, you being patient with me right now, and actually conversing with me, kind of makes me feel comfortable. What happened? I got harassed by this driver one time, and he just picked me up from work, taking me home. Then he's all over, all up in my business, like, where do you live? What do you do? Do you have a boyfriend? You have a nice body? And that's really rude, especially for somebody you've never met, you know? Okay. It got to a time he actually stopped the car. So that he could actually come back on the back seat and China like talk to me, China grow um, me. That's wait, rude. wait, slow down. Where were you coming from? I was working along Kiambu Road and You're working on Kiambu Road? Yeah. Then where were you staying? I live along Kamiti Road Zimmerman. Kamiti Road Zimmerman. Yeah. What time was it? Around seven. Seven PM. Yeah. He picks you up. Questions. Lots, lots. And I actually got very uncomfortable. Remember he's the one driving? I absolutely know nothing about cars, so I, there's nothing I could actually do. Okay. And along that way, there's not actually many places with lots of people. Most of the time, it's just a road, yeah. Okay. So even if I wanted to scream and do anything, nobody, probably, people would have heard, but you know, when it's not you being harassed, you don't really care. Which type of car was it? Do you remember? Actually, I said I don't know much about cars, yes. but I only know it was Mazda. Uh, Blue one or something. It was a blue Mazda. Yeah. So he jumps from the driver's seat yeah. to the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. Then I remember he locked the doors so I couldn't actually get out. And this is his car. We are on the road. And I'm a lady, so you know how. Now, where is this? Starts. Between Kiambu Road and Zimmerman, where is this? Uh, around uh, there's a. Uh, what's this place? Is it the bypass? No, not yet. Just like the bypass is kind of. Hapochini, then Apoju. You know when you're going to Zimmerman, you can't pitch your bypass because it's gonna... Let no, you normally take the turn, uh -huh. you come, you the one that comes through Mirema. Yeah, exactly. So Windsor, that bypass, and then you go through the, uh, over right, the bridge, right over then the bridge, Mirema. Like at the bridge. On top of the bridge? Yeah. There weren't actually many people. So, there wasn't much I could do. And being a lady, I can't fight a man who actually overpowers my, my, me what? with like, everything. Yeah. And then? He literally, like, this is this was me trying to play it down so that he doesn't hurt me. So I kind of had to play along, like, you know, you know, you're pretty, I'm like, thanks. I love your body, I love how you're looking, I love how, you, like, he was just being so perverse. Wow. Yeah? So I just had to play it down until I got a call from someone asking me where I was. Then Who was calling you? Actually a friend of mine. Okay. We were supposed to be, be meeting up at my place, so she was already there, I hadn't gotten home. Okay. So that's that was your savior. That like that's actually the moment he realized he should start to go. But even going back onto the river seat, he's still reaching behind trying to grab my thighs and everything. That was. He's weird. already he's touching. Yeah. <sighs> so he jumped back in the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. He started driving. Yeah. And he's still groping you. Yeah. So he's like struggling to get to me from the the the, the, the driver's seat. So I am actually getting annoyed at this point here. Yeah? 
So I actually just slap his hand and push him away. And then he looks at me like, oh, so you, 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 you're a big girl, you want to fight, yeah? He's like, what are you doing? This is so wrong. Then he's like, let me show you what's wrong, yeah? He stops the car again, comes back to the back seat with me. And literally, this guy is now pretty energetic and very, got lots of audacity, yeah? He's like, literally now touching me with purpose, like, you know what, let me show you. And so now he's touching you proper. Yeah. And I was already furious, like, why you can't do this to me? Who the hell do you think you are? So I actually fight back this time. He's pushing me around, I push back. Oh, no. So you're pushing each other? Yeah, he's trying to hold seat. my hand down. And I know if I let him hold my hands down, that's over. That's it. Because remember, he's a man. He has more strength than I do, yeah? Okay. So I kind of fight him back. Because it got to a point, actually, threw my phone at him, slapped him, you know? Then he gets really mad and uh, the fight gets pretty intense. He gets a hold of my neck and literally cuts off my airways and I actually Wait, fainted. What do you mean gets a hold of your neck? Like he literally choked me, started choking me. Then while he's choking me, he's being very vulgar. You think just because you have a pretty body, you can go everywhere you want, dress however you want. And mind you, I wasn't exactly dressed in any suggestive way. What? I was in a trouser and a top, yeah? How does that speak suggestive in any way? So he's insulting you, choking you, you're fighting back, yeah. the car is packed. Very much packed. Then it gets to the point, I actually use my knees and knee, knee him in the stomach. Then he's like, you know, if you are smart, you'd stop fighting. And I literally told him, you know, if I stop fighting, that would mean you've won and you haven't. Because I can't let you. Then he literally chokes me until I fell unconscious. Then I'm actually... I was, Where? I don't know how long I was in that car with him, but I kind of came, came around when I felt somebody opening the door, like some, the, the cold air, like, I felt air on my face, yeah. It's almost like somebody was trying to pull me out of the car. Okay. Then when I, like, Who, I actually... Was him? No, it wasn't. It was somebody else. Okay. And I, the car was still in the same place. My, my top was actually so torn. I had to like walk around covering myself so that people wouldn't look at me. Who was the person who was pulling you out? I think it was just somebody who drove by thinking because it was on the road. The car was on the road. This was somebody who thought he needed help. Yeah. So maybe they stopped to help him out and they oh, that find was a girl. Safe, yeah. yeah, a girl in the back seat with the torn And blouse. then what did they do? Like they... He was asked what is happening. He's like, I'm taking her to the hospital. Then the guy was like, she doesn't look sick. Like, she looks like she's out of it, but she doesn't look sick. Are you sure? Then she, the guy literally asked me, like, what is it? Do you know him? I'm like, I don't. That was the only thing that I actually managed to see before I started coughing my guts out, yeah. So when I still don't know him, Where? dude got into the car and literally sped off. Left you guys there with your good Samaritan. Yeah, and my turn. Lapsed. Where is this now? This is Mirema? Yeah. Where? So this guy, like, just gets me some water and asks me what happened. Yeah. So you explain to him what happened? Yeah, I Then did. what does he do? I called my parents first and uh, my friend who I was supposed to meet up with. Okay. Then she met me at Kasarani police station, yeah. That is actually at night already. Okay. And, so you guys uh, went to Kasarani police station? Yeah. We reported everything yes. and uh, this guy still took me and my friend back home. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he, advised, uh, he advised me to report in the app, which I did. But I never got any feedback from them. They just told me they'll look into it and... Was it written in an OB? Yeah. Do you have the OB number? Uh, I do. Okay. These are your friends? Yeah. Oh. Finally, they're here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Even, even the tip, eh? Forget about it. I'll, I'll carry you for free. It's okay. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> okay. it. Ciao. Yes, get in from this side. How are you doing? This is Taxi Problems. In case you know anybody who's gone through taxi problems, either a driver or a passenger, tell them talk to me. Then we can let them talk to you so they share with you, our brothers and sisters, so we have a safer and more saner commuting community. All right? Watch, like, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend.